Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing good and staying healthy. I know there's so much delay in publishing new videos. I usually slow down a bit when I have super busy weeks. Last week my kids exams got over and I was really helping them for that. So once it got over, I was like I need a break. Though I love to shoot moments in my life with my family, sharing with you, enjoying editing and all such to make myself more productive. I need to slow down a bit only then I will be able to present my videos or convey messages to you the way it should be or the way I wanted to reach you all It's been so long I prepared something special for my family like I used to do before It was a Saturday. School and office are off. I was in a mood of preparing a lavish breakfast, but I know they won't wake up that soon for it. So I had to make it a brunch. I love breads and buns. For a healthy version, I tried preparing whole wheat bun, but to be honest, it didn't come out that great. The yeast had a strong pungent flavor. It was neither expired nor was it dead as the yeast got activated when I kept it for resting in lukewarm water with sugar dissolved in it. Now let me show you a cheese spread I make these days when I have milk that's over the expiry period. You will have to heat the milk till it reaches the boiling point. It's almost the boiling point now, so time to add either lemon juice or vinegar. The amount depends on how well the milk has curdled. You can see it has curdled well. Strain using a cotton cloth or muslin cloth. Cover it for some time. You may continue the process while it's still warm. I let it sit and I move on to preparing a very tasty dish. Rihan had been asking me to make ravioli from a very long time ever since he tried it from a restaurant in Kerala during our last vacation. It was flavorful. When I checked online, it was available in Lulu, so I had gone to the store on Friday, but unfortunately it was over and instead got tortellini with, with ricotta cheese and spinach filling. Bought two packets. Beginning with preparation now, heat some olive oil in a pan along with a slice of butter. Let the butter melt. Chop around 5 or 6 cloves of garlic and fry in the butter. Now add 2 medium onion chopped to small pieces. Saute well and let it get soft. That's eggplants for mutabil, scoring the eggplants for roasting in air fryer. Add 
add the tortellini or the ravioli whatever you are using into hot boiling water along with some salt let it cook for 4 or 5 minutes or as instructions on the packet now to the onion goes in 2 cups chicken stock or vegetable stock if you don't have both add hot water and to this goes 1 cup cooking cream the stock had salt in it so didn't add more then goes half teaspoon crushed black pepper and 1 teaspoon chili flakes now strain and add the tortellini into the cream mix let this boil on low flame for 2 or 3 minutes Now this is done. Turn off the flame. There goes the milk curdles. Add that to a blender. Now this is still warm. To this, add one tablespoon of thick curd. Here I am adding some zaatar, but it's completely optional. Zaatar had salt in it, so I didn't add any more. If no zaatar, then add some salt and blend. Meanwhile, to the whole wheat dough, removing the air and kneading for a minute. If you want a perfect burger bun or a coffee bun recipe, which of course is with plain flour. Do check out my video I had published long time back and I had even done an amazingly delicious pizza recipe with whole wheat pizza base that came out really well. All the links will be shared in the description box. Here for a change I use my silicon muffin tray for baking the buns and the rest made differently. cover for 5 minutes meanwhile preparing the mutabbil in a blender peel off the roasted eggplant and add the pulp try to get rid of the seeds as much as possible or else there will be a bitter taste then goes 4 cloves of garlic quarter cup olive oil then goes quarter cup tahini which is sesame seeds paste half to 1 teaspoon salt forgot to add the sarnas i'm adding vinegar you may add lemon juice instead now in fact mutabbil doesn't need any blending you may mash the pulp of the eggplant using a fork or a spoon and then add in the rest of the ingredients mix really well and it's good to eat basically it needs to be a bit chunky here instead of the egg wash i use some curd to see how it goes but if you want the top part to have that nice golden brown color egg wash is the best I baked it at 200 degrees Celsius for 10 to 12 minutes. Breakfast is incomplete without eggs, so I made an omelet with cheese. A simple dish. Broken four eggs. That's quarter to half teaspoon crushed black pepper. some salt 1 teaspoon chili flakes beat well heat some olive oil add half the egg mix into the pan and scramble a bit Thank you. 
add some shredded mozzarella cheese over to one side and flip the other side over this then pour the rest of the egg mix and scramble a bit add some more cheese now flip the other side towards this let it cook for a few seconds and it's done it was time for my workout and i came back after getting fresh For a fruit salad, I mixed in apple, grapes, pomegranate and one banana. Time to add the dishes into the serving pots and pans. Drizzle some olive oil over the mutabil and garnish with some pomegranate seeds and chopped capsicum. That's a cream cheese spread, again drizzling some olive oil, garnishing with some chopped capsicum. Serve the fruit mix along with some strawberry milk for an extra sweetness. Instead of strawberry milk, you can use rose milk or even skip completely. Time for serving. The sauce in this was completely absorbed by the tortellinis. If you need more sauce, do add some hot water into it. Mix for 2 minutes over medium flame and then serve. Cooking a meal, spending time with family, serving them the best you can. All these are what everyone look forward but these days we are in so much rush that we don't have time. We are always in a hurry. Slowing down is something very important for our soul. The most important being self-care. Find time for yourself. Once you get that inner peace, that's the moment you have started to love yourself and that nothing else cares. We have no control of what's happening outside but we should know that our control is in our hand and that nobody has a remote for it. As I had woke up really early that day for preparing the brunch, I slept off in the evening unknowingly for some time. Later that evening, kids had gone for playing, even my husband for his badminton. So I was alone at home. I took out my bag of macrame ropes and wanted to make one plan hanger to hang a plan in my dining area 
in many photos or videos, I see plants being hanged from the curtain road from either of the ends. It looked really pretty. Wanted to hang one from a very long time. Finally started for it. Plan hangers are really easy to make and this time I made a simple one but with few extra efforts to make it look pretty. I took 8 long ropes and folded in half, hung it on the road and gave a good tight knot to stay in place. Then started doing hitch knots with 2 ropes at a time. You need to take all together 4 ropes at a time with 2 each in a set. Take one set, go on top of the other and pull through the back. Then secure it. Do the same the other side. Keep repeating and you get this beautiful braided rope. So you need to do the same method 4 times. Now take each and do the same with two single ropes in one set. I gave 20 repetitions on each but it depends, you need to get the same length of the rope with the knots. So it was 20 on each, on few it was just 18 or 17. Now connect the rope. Take the single one from one set and connect with another single one from another set. To secure it, first hold middle two ropes together and give one complete square knot. And now repeat the very first knot, that's the hitch knots. You don't have to do so much on this. Now that's joint. Repeat the same with the rest. So all are connected. Now connect the last two and it's done. Give a good knot holding all together. The plant is ready to be placed in this hanger. Cut those extra ropes and give a neat look for it. And that's done. So that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Do try the recipes and even the plan hanger. Do share your feedback. See you with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.